Hello, what's up? I'm Ines Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be talking about the best free screen recorder. Alright, so today we're going to talk about the best free screen recorder that I use and I need something that is reliable because I make tutorials on a daily basis. So a lot of screen captures there. So that's why I chose OBS, short for Open Broadcast Software, uh, which is actually really good. A lot of streamers actually use it, but you can also use it to capture your screen. So let's take a look on how to install it and how I do my settings on a PC. So let's get to the PC and get started. Alright, here we are on the website for OBS. OBS Studio and you can download their latest releases and they have a version for Windows, Mac and Linux. I will click on Windows 7 Plus and then right here we will have our installation. So um, I actually needed to install the latest version so um, yeah here I go. <laughs> I'm actually cheating on OBS currently um, because I'm using an other screen recorder to actually record how I use my one screen recorder so um, yeah I'm cheating at the moment but okay click yes and go next I agree install it and let's open it up all right once we open up um, OBS this is what we'll see uh, right here we have scene one and our sources this is our display I currently use two separate monitors uh, so let's go and check you can um, add a lot of cool things right over here uh, we actually just need our screen to record uh, so we can go to the properties and check if display zero okay uh, we are currently uh, currently recording this monitor I also select capture cursor of course and then we can go into the settings go to output right here I currently use the um, encoder x264 uh, which I think is very similar to h264 so that's why I'm using this one um, and bit rate of 2500 uh, which uh, seems about fine and then uh, apart from that I kept everything as it was then for the recording right here you can select the path you want to export to I'm exporting it also in an mp4 file because Premiere is not having issues with that. Originally I think it was LMFLV uh, which uh, Premiere couldn't read so um, we have mp4, um, one audio track with the encoder of H.264 right here. I want it to export in Full HD so select uh, Full HD. Uh, that really depends on the uh, resolution of your screen so if you have a lower screen resolution you won't be able to select full HD uh, so apart from that I kept everything as it was as well in the audio settings you can go ahead and select your microphone I'm using the uh, Focusrite USB so this is an adapter I'm currently using the microphone from Rode the NT1A which is actually a pretty good uh, microphone so um, okay we have this installed let's go to video check your output as well because you can record in a specific resolution but you can output in a different resolution so make sure that you have full HD right here and I have a 60 FPS um, frame rate so this is just how many frames you're going to get each second so I kept this at the maximum actually for tutorials 30 could work fine as well so it uh, doesn't really matter that much in hotkeys you can install a lot of cool hotkeys to start recording stop recording I actually didn't do that so for start recording I will select uh, F11 and then to stop recording F12 uh, this is something that I barely use so um, that's why I'm choosing these hotkeys and apart from that I don't really need any other hotkeys it's just easy to uh, start recording and stop recording all at once then apart from that you can go in advanced and go through all the settings I actually didn't look at advanced as I think it's not really necessary for what I do uh, so I'll click apply and click OK and then right here um, that's all you have to do so you have to check your microphone if you actually hear your sound you can click here to actually uh, go to the properties and make sure that this is the microphone that you are using so uh, make sure that it is installed and uh, you can go ahead and check that also make sure that it's not toggled off and apart from that you will see your screen right here you will see your levels of your microphone right here and if you think you're set you can just start recording and it's going to export to the location that you uh, put in the settings and then you can just go stop recording go to that folder and you'll have a file that you can edit so this is how I use OBS it's actually a really nice screen recording software I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did give this video a like and also subscribe to the channel for more see you in the next one 
एंड गुड बाय